Okay, members, we have quorum. Um, welcome you to today's meeting of the public accounts. Members, mobile phones must be set to airplay mode or on silent or indeed turned off. It is not sufficient to put mobiles on silent as they continue to interfere with the Assembly recording. This session is being recorded in video and audio and can be accessed live via online streaming either on the Assembly website or Democracy Live. Uh, agenda, uh, agenda item number one is apologies. Members, we have received apologies from Mr Dallet and Mr Lunn. Any others? Mr McHugh and Ms Flynn. Okay, Mr McHugh and Ms Flynn. Agenda item two, minutes of the meeting of the 5th of March 2020, pages 6 to 10. Uh, are members content with those minutes? Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Item agenda three, then, is matters uh, arising. Um, are there any matters arising from those minutes as I sign them? Okay, good. Item four, declaration of members' interests. Members at each meeting, members are required to register relevant financial or other uh, register of members' interests. Does any member have any interest they wish to declare this afternoon? Okay. Agenda item five is correspondence. Members on your tablet is correspondence pages 13 to 15. There's co correspondence in your table pack. Firstly, I refer to an email from Mr Edward Cook received the 10th of March 2020 at page 14 on your tablet. Uh, are members content to forward this to the Minister of the Economy and a copy to the Economy Committee uh, into this correspondence? Great. Great. <coughs> members, are you content that we write to Mr Cook advising that the Committee has considered the matter on several occasions and at this uh, position in time we are in no position to take the matter further? Are members agreed? Agreed. Mm -hmm. Secondly, on page 15 of your tablet, there is a letter from the Northern Ireland Audit, Audit Office dated the 13th of March 2020. In response to a letter sent on the 10th of March 2020, Crystal Break during a timeline of 11 million costs relating to the A6 Randallstown to cost Castle Dawson duelling scheme. The Audit Office do not hold this information, however, they have suggested requesting this information directly from the Department for Infrastructure. Members, are you content that the committee writes to the Department for Infrastructure and request this information for next uh, evidence session? Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Thirdly, I refer to the table pack in your blue folder. This is a letter from Kieran Donnelly, uh, CB, the Comptroller and Auditor General, dated the 13th of March 2020, in response to an issue raised by Whistleblower in regards to the Northern Ireland Audit Office uh, Houses for Land 20, 2004 report. Members, we dealt with this matter at our meeting on the 20th of February. <coughs> Mr. Donnelly has forwarded his previous um, response to the previous chairperson of the Public Accounts Committee, dated the 15th of June 2016, which was subsequently then issued to the whistleblower. Mr. Mr. Donnelly states that he has no further information to add to this response. Members, are you content to forward Mr. Donnelly's response to the whistleblower, outlining that the committee is content with Mr. Donnelly's response? And there's nothing further to add on the matter. Great members great. contend. Okay, thank you. Members, for the next item of business, we shall go into closed <coughs> session. Are members uh, agreed to move into closed session? Well, okay. 